Hi mga friends! Kamusta po? Thank you so much sa mga nag-subscribe sa akin. Padami ng padami na. Sana dagdagan nyo pa. Anyway, happy Canada, happy family day. Today is family day here in Canada. Sana all of us are happy. Anyway, I just want to show you our dinner for tonight. Right? Let's see. I want to share to you our dinner for tonight. Okay, I want to say thank you so much, my friend. And also, my husband said thank you. Yeah. I didn't say thank you. Salamat po sa mga friend natin. Si thank you. Salamat po. Hmm? Si salamat po. Thank you. Salamat po. Okay. Subscribe on our channel, please. And thank you. Here are my ingredients of my meatballs. This is only the my own version of meatballs. This is a very simple one. So, we have a ground beef. Take care of Pepper or just that. Uh, some people they use bread crumbs, right? So I use Quaker oats. I don't know because I saw it one of my friends here in Canada. She's Canadian. I saw her making meat meatballs, and I when I asked her why there is uh, Quaker oats, and she said, "No, I like to use Quaker oats instead of bread crumbs." And from that time, and I tried, it's really good. So from that one, I really use this Quaker oats. Then the onion, egg, the garlic, barbecue sauce, some pumpkin pie. So this is my other chance. This is our dinner for tonight. So now we're gonna mix all together all the ingredients. We have the onion, it's garlic. I have a garlic here. Actually, then I don't have a mixture, mixture because I am a, so it's up to you how many garlic you want to put. Salt and pepper. You can have one tablespoon of garlic, depends if you want more garlic than your meatballs. And of course, this, this one. Put it together, so mix it all together. And then the egg. So, I'm gonna wash my hands. I wash my hands, guys. Don't forget, now it's a coronavirus. We always wash our hands. Okay. I'm gonna mix it all together. Ready to fry. Ready to fry. So I put the fat, but you need to make it hot first. Make it hot first with, and then you put on a while it become hot. Try to, so that you know that this pot is hot, you put your hands like that. And if you feel the heat, it means it's ready to put on oil. So now, see if you touch it and you can feel the heat. It means it's ready. Because if you put the oil and the pot is not yet hot, it's gonna stay there. So now it's time for us to put the oil. Now let also the oil heat. Try it in muna natin yung matika before we put that. So ngayon. Init na yung mantika. Lalagyan na natin yung when we put our meatballs. Let's 
see you know if it is already hot because it's like It's good if the oil is hot because he So you're gonna look at it if it's brown, turn to the side and if it's brown brown it's when it's ready. After 3 minutes or 5 minutes, it's chicken new, tas balik ka rin yung baka masunod sa So, ngayon luto na siya. Talagang ko, talagang ko siya ng sauce para masarap. Kaya itong, itong barbecue sauce yun ang ilalagay ko. Ito. Ilalagay ko siya. Ito ang ilalagay ko, barbecue sauce. So, kumuha ko ng panibagong kawali. Kasi nga, ito masyado maraming mantika that I use for. So, I need to get a little bit Meatballs. Ibabalik ko ulit yung meatballs dito. Kasi lalagyan ko na siya ng sauce. Kasi sa atin, sa Pilipinas, right? Nagawa tayo ng sweet and sour or mga kung anong gusto yung sauce. Dito kasi sa Canada, this is an easy way for me. Like, especially, I'm working. Now, I don't have work because our daycare is not yet open. Although, it's gonna be open very soon, but I don't like, still, I don't like to go to, back to work. So, now, this is what I'm doing. It's easy for, like, this one. This is easy. Just put it there. Ito na pinakasus natin. Kasi, pag mga busy money, this is very easy. Hindi na marami ng marami. Kasi pag gumawa ka ng sus, ang dami yung gagawin. So, this is an easy one. Yan. Still there. Yan. We call it barbecue. Barbecue meatballs. Because this is a... Uh, I use this barbecue sauce. This is so good. I don't know if you will you try it. Try it and make this as a sauce. Use this as a sauce for your meatballs. See? And that's it. And now it's ready for them. This is this only make it a little bit long for like five minutes. Don't let overcook because the sauce is gonna burn. That's, that's, that's it. For my side dish, my husband would like to eat rice. So I will make mashed potato. I need to boil this one first. Now I slice only the potato and now ready to boil. Because I need to make it mush or I need to make it soft. Now, we're gonna make 
or side dish. It means mashed potato. My husband don't like to eat rice, so I need to make mashed potato for her, for him. So what I did, what I put in my in my mashed potato, I have a butter. Let's see, butter put it there while it's so hot. And then I need to put the cheese. I love cheese in my mashed potato. Put the cheese. That's why it's still hot so that the butter is going to melt. Then I like to have an onion in my mashed potato and also garlic. Let's make it all together. Of course, don't forget salt, I pepper. I love, love, love to have a lot of this one, but I don't like much salt. And then, of course, our milk. This milk. This is our dinner. This is for my dinner. And then now you mash it. Mix it all together. Dati, hindi ako sanay kumain ng ganito lang, na walang kanin. Kasi, Filipino tayo eh. We're Filipino, you cannot live without rice. But sometimes, because it's very hard for me, I need to cook rice and only I am only the one who eats. Where my husband likes to eat mashed potato or vegetable salad, french fries. Sometimes he like rice, kung ulam adobo, kasi may sauce. So this is, this is mashed potato. This is for our side dish. I want to put one more cheese. I like to have a lot of cheese. This one. A lot of cheese. That's it. See? Oh my god. This is really yummy. This is so yummy. This butter cheese and of course the milk. Garlic and onion. So yummy and so see, mm -hmm. so yummy. So now after this, I need to make my another because we have for our dinner we have mashed potato, one mashed potato and another one for meatballs. And now I need to make vegetables. Now I need to prepare our vegetables. This is a big our vegetables. You know what? This is frozen vegetables since the coronavirus. And since we have a coronavirus, so my husband don't like me to go to the to the grocery to buy vegetables or to go to supermarket. So my husband is the one who already go to supermarket to buy whatever we need at home. I don't like to go outside. He's the one who go everything what we need. So. What he did so that I will not go out and we are not going to go out every day, we are not going to go every week or whatsoever. We bought a lot of frozen big stables. This one is frozen. We bought it from Costco. This frozen big stables also is really good. So what you need to do this so that because it is frozen, right? You are not going to cook it like long time, just only like five minutes or three minutes. Sometimes I just put it in the microwave for like three minutes and that's it because if you overcook this it's gonna be a soggy so I want a mix the boss a little bit harder and not soggy this is a frozen one yeah since there's a pandemic happened this coronavirus so we're not so that we're not going to go to the supermarket every day so that's why or every other day so we bought, we bought this one it's frozen but it's really good it's look like fresh too when you when you cook when you cook it as long as you do not cook it too much just only like microwave it for three minutes or boil the water for three minutes and that's it this is really good so yeah although i love fresh vegetables but i cannot do anything this time we need to look at ourselves first we need to be safe first rather than you go to the market so just like